Welcome to part 4 where we'll be covering how to add rim lighting into our shader. Now once again, don't worry if you find the presentation a little hard to follow. It is just to get an idea of how things work. After the theory, we'll go ahead and write a shader line by line explaining how it works in greater depth. You can then come back and watch the theory again for greater understanding, or you can download the presentation, the shader and the text version of this tutorial in the source files. Let's begin. Rim lighting. Now rim lighting is the small amount of border lighting we see around silhouettes. Now this works by creating a rim of light around the model based on our view direction and then masking it out with our light direction. So let's take a quick look at the code. So with rim lighting we only have two lines of code and you could actually fit this into one line but I like to break it down into two. So we have the half rim to calculate the half vector and we have the rim lighting itself. Let's go ahead and break this down. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll create an outline by using the dot product of the view and normal directions. If you remember the dot product, this means that as our view direction faces the same direction as our normal direction, it will be 1, and when it is facing away, it will be 0. So by doing this, we get a gradient fall off from the center to the outside. Now, this is actually inverted, so what we do is we normalize our view direction. This will bring our vector to be between the values of 0 and 1. We then saturate the dot product to remove all values less than 0 and greater than 1. Now you can always use a max of 0 if, if you like. And then what we do is we subtract it from 1 to get our final rim lighting. To add control over how sharp the rim lighting is, what we need to do is use the power function. So the power function will take the first value to the power of the second. We've discussed this in the earlier lesson when we did specular lighting. To make the rim only show we're on the same side as the light, we need to multiply it by the dot product of the normal and light direction. So once again, the normal and the light dot product is just our Lambert shading model. Alright, so what we do now is we add in some color tint. Alright, let's go to the practical. So now that we've covered the theory, we're going to put it to practice. I'm now going to create a material and shader in Unity 4, assign the material to the surface, and create a rim lit shader from scratch. I will be re-explaining a lot of this theory lesson as I write the shader, so if none of that made sense at all, don't worry, we will go ahead and re-explain it.